Alright, this is Slice and Dice, which is a roguelike uh, with dice-based combat, and it's really good. And I have played two games so far, I've played one on easy and one on medium, um, and my one on medium uh, just ended in a photo finish in which I killed the final boss in the same moment he killed me. Um, and that counts as a victory, which I'm very pleased about. <laughs> so now I'm starting again on medium. I think medium's about right for me. Um, so, we already know what the enemy's going to do. Like, like in Slay the Spire, uh, this wolf is going to attack uh, three of my people, and this boar is going to attack just one of my people. The yellow health pips are the health we're going to lose. So, from the wolf, we're going to lose one each on three two people. The depth is just going to straight up die. <laughs> so that's pretty bad. Uh, my dice have already been rolled, um, but I can choose to either keep some of these results, or uh, re-roll uh, others. So you get one dice per character, and I can see what's on the other sides of the dice if I right-click, I think. Yeah. Um, so that's probably the best result for that character, because uh, doing two damage with a, with a sword is better than shielding for one. Uh, the shield, they can just decide who to protect, um, but losing the one health is not so bad. The Adept is the problem. Um, so maybe I want to reroll until I get some shields just to save the Adept, because actually straight up losing them could be a problem. The other thing I could possibly do is um, these two are mana. If I was to just keep both of these, uh, I would gain two mana, with which I can cast either of these two spells. One of them would let me shield for two, so that's good. Um, and this one would let me heal, which is not wouldn't do anything at the moment because I haven't actually lost the health, it's just health I'm going to lose. So I think I'll keep the mana um, and the sword. What are my other options here? Oh, this could get me a double shield, so that would be great. Uh, so I'll reroll that one for sure. This could be a sword. Uh, the fact that it's bow, the fact that it's range doesn't help me because that only uh, is useful if someone's in the back row, which is neither of these guys are. So I'm just going to reroll these two. Uh, I'll keep the shield and keep rolling on the rogue dice. I can reroll twice. Uh, it's going to be a bow whether I like it or not. So, uh, now that my dice are committed, I'm going to choose who to shield. I should be the adept. I think I will do what I said and, and spend both this mana on burst, which is going to shield them again. So now they take no damage. That's a big improvement over dying. Um, now I'm going to do some damage to them. So the wolf is closer to death, uh, which I like. It can it does have a four four attack and some three attacks, so that's pretty nasty. The boar just has four four attacks. Jesus. Uh, they're both pretty nasty. I think the boar is worse, isn't it? Let's go for the boar. It's possible we'd kill the wolf one turn earlier, but let's see how we go. So, once again we're on the brink of death. <laughs> this is a little bit harsh. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep the sword. I might reroll this trying to get a better shield. And this I'll definitely reroll. Um, this is a big heal. We don't really want a big heal, do we? We want uh, several little heals. The other, one of the other faces I could roll. Uh, let me see if I can bring this up and annotate it somehow. Yeah, um, these ones are better than a heal. They increase your max HP and your current HP. So that, in other words, you can overheal with that, um, which is cool. And yeah, they're also providing me with a spell. So. Uh, I will reroll that, I'll reroll this. I think that's all of them. Um, that is not much better, is it? I think I just reroll everything again. Because I don't need to stress too much about this, because I can save them with the mana, if nothing else. I would like a better shield, though. Alright, I'm gonna stuck with a crappy shield. Still makes sense to protect them. That didn't save them, because they were actually, I don't know if you saw the plus one there, but that means they're gonna be overkilled by one. Um, so I still need to do the mana trick. Now they're safe, and we're going to keep going at the boar. It is true that I would have killed the dwarf one turn earlier, so that's a bit of a shame. But this could have worked out that I was doing four damage this turn, in which case this would have been the perfect choice. And who wants an extra health point? I think probably the Acolyte herself. Because she's about to be on the lowest health. I really love that just the health previews um, makes it so easy to process the information in this game. I found this game really easy to learn, and... It just feels like a game that gets out of your way. Just all the information you need is presented really neatly and really visibly. 
uh, and you can just focus on it. You can almost sort of do what I call like instrument flying, where you know you don't need to look at the the art; you just can just look at the icons and and know what you're doing. Um, which you know there are some contexts where you don't want that to be the case, but I think it works really well. How just everything is slick and fast and to the point. So a heal would actually save the adept. Um, it's not my favourite way to do that. Uh, double shield definitely good. That would save either of them. Maybe we actually take the single shield here because we only need one damage point to kill the boar, and that would just be a good outcome. I think we just take possibly almost all of these. Just reroll the acolyte. Because my plan is, I'll use the double defense on the person who's going to die by one. I'll use a single defense for the person who's going to die on the button. Uh, then I could use the mana to save someone further, or I could use it to damage them, and the bow will kill the boar. Next turn I'll want the big heal, but not this turn. I don't like that. And one mana doesn't do me any good at all. Mana does carry over between turns, but that's much better. Okay, so definitely this. Uh, definitely this. Oh, you know what? Um, let me undo that. Uh, you can undo, which is always much appreciated. Uh, let me kill first, because that is who was attacking the thief. So once we kill the boar, we don't need to worry about that. So now we can spend all of our protection on the adept, which actually means that we end up with our mana being spare. Uh, and I could spend it... You know, like this spell can also do damage, so that's one way of doing things. I'm quite tempted just to heal everybody because, uh, and I've done it now, <laughs> I didn't actually mean to confirm that, I thought it was going to give me a confirmation step, but that's just very neat, the fact that everyone had lost health means that, that was the maximum value. Probably what I'm ultimately doing is just dragging this fight out longer than it needs to, but uh, it felt good. And since the Adept and the Thief are on the lowest health, I'll give more max HP to them. I feel like the Adept has been on more trouble this game, I don't know if there's actually any logic behind that. But if there's not, it doesn't matter. That's very easy to deal with. Uh, definitely want swords. Single shield? No, not really. Max health. Will I take it? Yeah. And I'll be raw everything else. Um, I think I'll take the attack. Yeah, let's do this. So I don't really need to defend anybody. Um, I am done rolling, yes. I could re-roll again, but I'm not ready. Let's just see how we do on, on attack, because we might be close to killing him. We're actually very close to killing him. In fact, we'll get him. <laughs> so, after a fight, you get to you get either get a level up or you get a inventory item. And we got a level up here. And every class, the level ups are big. Uh, basically, they change class. They um, sort of it's a bit like D and D specializations, where you start with a sort of generic, broad class, and then you get you specialize uh, and get better. Uh, and there are loads of like sub specializations. So I've never seen the ranger before. Um, let's see what that does. So ranged and cleave, that means it can hit stuff in the back row and it will hit enemies to either side. So it'll do one damage to three different enemies potentially. That's actually pretty good in this fight because these archers are in the back row. Uh, they can only be hit by ranged stuff. What does a golden bow do? Oh, it's got engaged. So if they're at full health, this does double damage. So as a first shot, it's pretty good. Um, if we were to upgrade the what, sorry, the defender into a cleric, they can both heal and shield in the same move. This I really like, the cleanse thing, um, because there's a lot of poison in this game, and there's no other way to get rid of it, as far as I know. So I quite like that. And they also can get mana. What are they doing currently? Oh, the, so their pathetic damage will be replaced by pathetic mana. It's going to be rare that I keep those dice results, you know, like, if I'm stuck with them, they can be, I'll use them, but... Um, I'm probably going to be re-rolling when that happens. Yeah, I'm not super keen on this guy just because he doesn't have a lot of damage. You know, I already have two damage on my main two and then one on the side ones. This multi-target thing is kind of good, but it's never decisive in itself. You really need to be doing two different multi-target attacks, right? Because nothing has one health. These guys have two health. If I could do this twice in one turn, great, but you can't because this is the only character who has this. So... Um, yeah, currently. Uh, so it's never going to actually eliminate enemies, and I'd much rather whittle them down. So kind of lean towards Cleric. It doesn't matter, so later on there'll be a level 3 class as well, it doesn't matter what I pick in terms of determining that, it's not like Rangers can only branch out into these other things, they'll just be different choices. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Cleric. Okay, I've got to find the tick mark first. Uh, how are we doing on this? 
No actual evaluating to assign, so just move on. This is the only thing I would change about this game so far, is that you finish a fight, you do that little upgrade thing, and you're just immediately in the next fight. There's no kind of like breathing room. And I don't think, I've been thinking about this, and I don't actually think I need extra gameplay there. Like I don't need a, a story or, or um, uh, you know, a, a town that you visit and stuff like that. Uh, I just want something visual to like pull me away to a map or something and see the journey move along a little bit and then zoom back in. Like that's it. It doesn't have to have any choices, doesn't have to have anything else. Um, but just the fact that you sort of stay on the same screen, I actually never even noticed the scene change. So it kind of feels like we're just in one room and everyone just keeps walking into it. Um, they could just do with a little bit of pacing there. So this looks bad. Uh, Warrior's going to die by one. And none of these dice results are good. Um, shall I keep the the arrow thing is again I can't kill him on one shot I haven't by not upgrading him I haven't made him better <laughs> needless to say so um, uh, I still can't kill any archers in this turn spells still only hit the front row unless I think there are some that don't oh this is what damage to all enemies that would hit the back row as well um, but when it's just as damage unless otherwise specified it can't hit the back row um, so if I ended up with three mana, doing one damage to everyone and the bow would let me eliminate an archer and be just good total damage. Maybe I go for that. What are my chances? So this one, that's as good as it gets. So if I'm going for this, I should keep that. That's also as good as that gets, which means I haven't even rolled my mana dice. Okay, this is actually a very good chance of working out. Uh, what do I do with the warrior? I think he'll, he's got to save himself <laughs> if this is going to work out. So I think I need to reroll that. Oh, that was so going to be a uh, shield. Now, do I do one more reroll? There's a uh, one in three chance that I get nothing at all and my whole plan backfires. <laughs> and I don't need the extra mana, so what am I talking about? Of course I keep that. I think I reroll this though, right? It's not, there's no upside to having a sword right now. Yes, okay. Oh, that's not going to work. That's not enough. He's going to die. Okay, let's just see how the mana thing works out. This is going to hit everybody. Then Thief can hit one of the archers. Now, one of the archers is targeting the warrior, so is a rat. Um, but if I take this one out, now the warrior's going to live. Okay, cool. So this did pay off. Yeah, that's probably the best I can do. It's just a lot of attacks to deal with, and we eliminated something, so we made our next turn easier. Hmm. <laughs> May have spoken too soon. Alright, shielding and healing is real good here. Um, just giving one extra hit point is not so great. I'd much rather one of the big heals here, so I'm probably going to reroll that. I'll keep this one because that can be turned into two shields. Um, this one can kill a rat, so I'll keep that too. And then we reroll this because this, I'd actually like this to turn out to be a, a sword so we can kill another rat. Hey, there it is. And that's better than what we had before as well, so great. Alright, let's do killing first. Um, and it looks to me like, let's think, does it matter that this is equally effective on all the people who are, who are about to be killed? Um, this same shielding with this would not be, but actually I'll probably use this to kill, won't I? Hmm. What is, so this rat is actually doing a lot of damage. That's, that's the reason the adept is going to die so hard is because of that rat. I think we just kill that rat. What's going on here? Oh, I haven't confirmed the dice apparently. Um, just want to check I didn't change anything there. No. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's deal with the most powerful rat. Now only these two are going to die. Um, I don't think it matters which one we uh, save here. Um, I'm going to save myself, I think. Oh no, I can't save myself. That's the archer. Ah, interesting. Um, so let's save the warrior, who is yellow. These little arrows, tiny little arrows, show you who they're going to attack, if you can read the colours correctly. Um, and then Cleric is going to save the thief. Uh, and then this I will turn into a burst, which kills the rat. If I did have some more damage right now, I could kill the archer now, because once there's only people on the back row, it effectively becomes the front row, like you can kill, you're allowed to kill them then. Uh, I think the warrior needs the extra hit points, doesn't he? Alright, that's kind of perfect. 
Oh yeah. Um, I thought we saw them move to the front row then, but maybe not. I think that was just an attack animation. Alright, I'm just going to immediately accept all of these, because all I've got to do is this. Alright, now we get an item. A choice of items. Uh, this one is not that great. I had this last game, and I never ended up equipping it, because what's in your middle um, slot is usually a pretty good thing. It's not a bad slot. The, the faces of your die are kind of... Um, uh, coded somewhat so that this end is generally good and this end is generally weak um, and especially like these two tend to be the same thing um, and the top and bottom tend to be the same thing uh, Some, if you're going to have two NIST slots they're going to be at the back um, yeah so that will come into play later blank sides become heal one that's pretty nice for, especially for Adept who has two different ways to get nothing at all the acolyte can can't fail which is great um yeah the heal one is not great but i think getting nothing at all is always real uh bad so let's do that so i love the broom with the crosshair is a great icon for anything that is, they have to target the enemy with a high HP, which is nice. That's very polite of them. Um, so, again, hey, we've got three mana right here. And we could get more. Um, so that, that'll be the, the multi-attack thing. So I'd like a bow on this, really, uh, if I can. And I don't especially want the single health thing. Um, bit nervous about actually doing this with the cleric, because he does need to be saved. Maybe I want to hold out for mana on the Acolyte. I mean, I can save him with this, it's just that it's only just safe. This guy could get shield. This one has a lot of different ways. In fact, yeah, this can't go wrong. Oh, no, it totally can go wrong. <laughs> There's one way for it to go wrong. Uh, but I, either I get a mana again, or I get a shield and a healing. Or in a rare case, it fails completely. So I will reroll that. Um, I think I might reroll all of these. Because I need the bow. Uh, don't know if I'm going to get the bow. Big heal has no effect right now, so that's completely useless. Oh, damn. I don't. I think I'll take the warrior's shield. Because his sword is no good. Alright. Apparently we're doing this. Um, the self-shield will be good. We can't do the big hit that I was hoping to do. Um, you know, it's actually worth using on the Acolyte because uh, they will be lower on health after all this. And I do think I still want to do the multi-attack because these archers need dealing with, and I, it's very unlikely I can do it in one turn if I don't do that this turn. What does this do? Uh, two damage and cleave, and this is a nasty snipe. Okay. What have we got to work with? The big heal actually is pretty useful. That would definitely save the cleric and would just be a nice thing to do anyway. Um, Acolyte needs a miracle. <laughs> uh, what Acolyte really needs is for us to take out the person targeting her, and I think that's uh, this one. Yeah. So I don't really like the sword. I'll take this, because that's pretty versatile, and reroll the rest, I think. Oh no, wait, 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 I definitely want three mana. If I can guarantee three mana, all the archers are dealt with, and we can just heal the cleric. Um, so actually, I don't especially want the, <laughs> the bow. Um, how am I feeling about this for the warrior? I'd much rather have two damage, I think I'll reroll both. Well, that did not pay off at all. Let's do the important thing. I killed all the archers. Oh, if only I just taken if I'd taken those two one damage things, I would win the fight right now. Um Hey, this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. It's recoverable. Like it's we won't lose someone this turn. And that should be enough. I believe we can just win next turn. But that was much closer than I wanted it to be. Thief 
is going to die of poison. I don't want that to happen. Um, let me take that. That'll kill the witch. Um, and this and this. And we got everything else. That's also good. Uh, and that's also good. Yeah, let's just do this, this, this. That ends the fight. Okay, I'm just checking the poison damage didn't kill me first. Because that's kind of how I did this photo finish in the last game, was I was poisoned and, and the enemy was poisoned too. And my poison ticked down first, so I died. And then, then they also died. Um, and I, this time it worked out differently because the killing blow on the enemy wasn't poison. If we'd had to wait for the poison, it would have the thief would have died first. Druid, I haven't seen this one. So that would replace our Acolyte, who is the one who has all this good health stuff. They get a sword that grows each time you use it, it starts to do more damage. Shield that grows, which I'm going to use it. Shields more in the future. Lots of mana. And the cleanse thing. That's very nice. It's less healing in general. Um, but it's pretty good. What is the Berserker? Uh, three damage. And if you're going to die this turn, it does double that. Uh, same for that one, except it's two. This one, yeah, I don't like this. There's two of these on their dice, and four damage, but it also does four damage to me. That's a wash to me. That's that's not a positive. That's like, we, we. If it did zero damage, uh, that would be very similar to me. It would be like, like I think it'd be interesting if it was like if it kills them, then you don't get the self damage, but you just get the self damage, and that's just a lot of health to, to, to lose. Like, if I kill someone to prevent four damage, that's great, but if doing that makes me take four damage, I haven't really helped myself. Uh, so it's going to be the druid, because I don't like pain. I just don't like pain. Uh, and there's nothing to sort out inventory-wise. So we're straight into the action again. Alright, this seems like... Um, it's actually only two defense, isn't it? This is good. This is good. Might reroll the rest. No one's in danger of dying, so... Who's to say they'll ever die? That's the same things. Uh, I don't think I want to do... Oh wait, I don't even have... Ah, I should have paid more attention to this. Uh, I just gave up my ability to hurt everybody. Nope, I didn't. I got a much better one, <laughs> which uh, hurts them and heals me. That's great. Uh, I will reroll all of these. I'm still optimistic. And I was wrong to be. Uh, what does this one do again? Oh, what? Oh, we kept that. What did we lose then? There was something else here. Oh, was it growth? No. Vine? I don't know. Um, so this is totally redundant. I don't want this at all. I think it's coming from the Adept. Uh, yes. So I'd be very happy to lose my Adept right now and replace them with something better. Um, I think it's going to be... What happened here? Alright. Yeah, I do want to get the mana. I just don't know what I want to spend it on yet. I think we want to focus down this wolf, don't we? Because the alpha's going to take a long time. Um, let's attack it first. It's down to three. I, there isn't a way to turn three mana to three damage, unfortunately. Um, oh, wait, but I can totally just... Why didn't that work? Do this and then finish them off with a warrior. And that presumably cancelled some of the damage. <laughs> I'm not actually seeing which it cancelled, but that's fine. We'll take those hits and store up some mana for next time. So I hope he doesn't summon a wolf. No, he's going to attack us. That's fine. Um, this is a great time for healing and shielding. Great time to do two damage. That's very similar. I mean, actually, at this point, I would rather draw the sword, obviously. Um, so this character yeah, is pretty good. There's not much that's bad on, on his dice. Um, I think I will stick with it, though. And read all the rest. Ooh. Um, no, I don't like either of those results. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, Alright, so who needs defense and healing? Probably the warrior. Oh, no, the warrior's not going to be an attack this time. Huh. So... Yeah, sorry, that's my timer going off. Um, 
if, in terms of it, like using the ability efficiently, the cleric should heal themselves. Um, in terms of getting the lowest health player up to a decent place, they should use it on the thief. Um, we could also get three mana and do this, which just heals everyone. But if we don't do that, we can do a total of four damage with this. That little broken mana icon means it won't be conserved to the next turn. You can only carry a certain amount over. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just use this efficiently, completely heal the cleric. Um, and we'll protect the adept a bit, and then I'll use this as damage. Oh, I keep... I don't know why. It, it feels like it wants me to click here, but it doesn't. So that was a mix of efficiency and not. Okay, I'm glad when he attacks us all because <laughs> I think there's more things I can do about that. Um, love that for the thief. Uh, I quite like this for the warrior, maybe. I mean, cleansing is irrelevant right now, but um, yeah, I still think that's a good thing to take. That is good for damage or, or protect, and once again, it's the warrior and the thief who've rolled shitty things, but they did redeem themselves. Okay, uh, this... Oh, damn it. Once I put them all in the slots, I feel like that's... We're done. Um, right. Like, I feel like it should act as if we're done, but the undo button should also work to undo it. If I if I did make a mistake. Uh, so this on the warrior, I think. Because that's sort of... Oh. What happened there? Let me see that again. So they currently have three health. I can only heal them up to five, at which point they're still going to lose two and be down to three. So this effectively only really heals two. Um, I don't think there's a better place to use it though, is there? It's still the best option. Um, and then, should I just attack with everything else? I could shield, but I feel like we're going to make hay while the sun shines here. Uh, yeah, because both the characters are going to take damage are basically fine. I don't want him to summon more wolves like he just did. Uh, at least I think he did. Yeah, he's going to do it at the end of his turn, I guess. Well, that's fine, because he's not going to get another turn. In fact, I'll just go straight to the good bit. Alright. Yeah, this is where the equipment gets interesting. Stuff like this. Replace the two right sides with blank and heal one regen. So... That wouldn't be great for this character because it would their shield would be replaced with a blank and the regen thing would go there. Um, it would be terrible for this character because they'd gain a blank when they don't have any blanks currently. Uh, it would be great for someone who had two blanks there. Now this person doesn't have two blanks but this regen thing is straight up better than that. Um, and do you know what? There's actually something kind of interesting that I might want to do. Uh, let me evaluate what the other item is. But So I'll explain it because I just read it in the, in the fact, but the Adept already has an item, um, and that one is giving them two hearts there. This one says that that space goes to a blank, so these things contradict each other. But you can put them in a different order, so that one, uh, I think it's like the bottom one takes priority, or maybe the top one takes priority. Um, in other words, they do their things in different orders. Uh, I guess that wouldn't actually help here, because since they both affect the same two slots, if this one takes priority, then it takes priority on both slots. It's not going to... I don't think the blank counts as, like, you know, failing to replace something, because it already would replace your existing things. If that makes any sense. <laughs> um, so it's not good for him. Let me see what the other item is. Plus one to basic shield sides. Okay, so someone who has a lot of shields, such as this guy, are to basic shield sides. None of these are basic. I suppose you put on the warrior, then he's got good shields instead of bad shields. It's not too exciting though. But then this thing, I don't really know who we give it to. Um, is it better than what the Adept has? I suppose it kind of is, because regen is something... Regen lasts for the whole battle, so that, that character gains one health every turn forever, uh, which is pretty nice. It's definitely better for the Adept. Um, and that's the only character I've put it on, I think. 
I mean, you could put on a warrior, I suppose. The warrior is kind of the worst because more or less everyone can do two damage or something equally useful, um, and the everyone else has something more interesting on these wings. Well, maybe not this guy. Uh, I think I'll go for the other thing to consider. Actually, is that when I level up, it'll probably be to a class that doesn't have an X there. Um, but that said, that's also true with the basic shield. You know what? Maybe I'll just go for a random item. Oh, it's probably rubbish. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's just flavored text, because last time I, I saw this, it was saying it's probably something good. Um, so I don't know if that's them just trying to mind game you. <laughs> uh, but I'll take it at its word. I f I'll feel stupid if I click that and I do get a rubbish item. So I'm going to go for this. And I think, let's see But I think. Oh my god! What? That completely contradicts what I predicted would, would happen. So it does work in the most favorable way, which is this one. Oh, this is more specific than I realized. I was thinking this is one that just replaced the right-hand slots with heal, but it doesn't. It specifically says it replaces blank sides with heal. So the fact that this one gives blank ones first, then this one converts the blank into a heal, is actually a really neat synergy. Awesome. Ha. Obviously, I foresaw this, and that was a strategic play. All right, now now we're going to get some poison, aren't we? Yes, we are. Um, yeah, I want to stop that, and this is the perfect thing to do it. So the, the really nice, th nice thing about cleanse is it doesn't just cleanse things that you already have. It cleanses things that will happen to you this turn. Uh, so it's kind of like protects you as well. Now, getting a good amount of damage would be nice here. I can actually... I could do this and then hit everybody with that. It's a bit of a waste in that we won't actually get the healing benefit. It'll do four damage total. That doesn't really make sense, does it? Because we could just do four damage with those using burst. Um, I'm certainly going to reroll that bow because that doesn't really help us. Uh, the adept doesn't have. I mean, I'd use that region if I rolled it, but I don't want it to end up with one mana. And then Druid definitely has a better sides. In fact, the fact that Druid could cleanse, so I'm definitely going to reroll the Druids. Maybe I keep the Adepts. Okay, that's nice. I might even keep one of these, because then we've got a guaranteed kill on the rat. Um, it's the snakes who are doing the really nasty stuff. So, probably that's the Druid who could have healed potentially, but I don't want to gamble it on the last thing, because it could easily roll mana. Uh, actually, mana would be fine. Protection wouldn't be great. Maybe it would, since two people are going to die right now. Um, so, what is. Why are they going to die? Because this one is going to do two damage and poison, and this one is doing damage from a rat and a snake. Uh, even if we. Oh no, the snake, it can survive the snake, because that's going to do one damage and one poison. This is the nasty snake, it's doing two damage and two poison. So the cleansing shield will go on this one, which gets rid of the poison and prevents the damage. Um, then this person will survive when we kill the rat, which we will do with this. Yeah. And there's only one poison happening here, so that's uh, more. It's more acceptable to not do this. And I, I like to use the sword because it will increase in power. And so, which one of these do I keep? Who's got a better chance of rolling something better? Uh, this guy could fail completely, so let's reroll this one. Okay, that's better. All right, so let's do. Um, we said, didn't we? That well, let's just protect the three first. Confirm my theory that that completely protects them. Uh, then we want to kill this rat, which I don't think there's a really cost-efficient way of doing it. I think I'm going to have to use both of my. Uh, things. You know, why don't, since I have this much damage, why don't I just kill one of the snakes? The nastier one is already dealt with. But we could just kill this snake, and then I'll still take two damage from the rat. Oh, I'll take three damage from the rat. Jesus Christ. 
That's nasty. But getting rid of a snake would be great, wouldn't it? I think we go to the snake. Yeah, do you want to prevent... Hmm. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to get rid of the snake. I'm not going to overthink it. Oh wait, I can use the bow for that. I can use the bow for that. And this is just conventional damage, so using the magic to block is pretty good. Yeah, I think that's a pretty smart compromise. The differences in maximum health are huge, aren't they? Okay, this would be another good one to block and cleanse. Um, don't like what's happening to that thief. That's all from this one rat, so I think we'll try and kill that rat. Uh, pretty tempted to just keep the two mana. Two mana is just pretty solid at this point in the game. This is regen. I think I'll take that. And then just hope for damage on these two. Maybe I even... No, no. I'm going to reroll both. Perfect. Alright, so... Again, we could just kill a snake. If we kill a snake, we're still left with three damage on the thief, which I don't like. But this one can protect it. Um, and then two damage on this one. If we do kill the snake, sorry, if we do kill rats, it's just a waste, isn't it? We end up having to use four of our six damage. Um, I guess we use four of our six damage to take out the three guy. Then we use the mana to block the two, and the shield to block this. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? That makes progress and we lose nothing. Um, so I've, I've talked myself around. <laughs> so let's kill the one who's attacking the thief. Oh, I don't... Uh, they're in the slots, damn it. Um, yes. Protect here. Use this to block. Yeah, and it's literally perfect. Um, and then the healing, I think we'll have to go on the druid. It's kind of weird because the thief needs healing more, but they're already at max, so it just feels wasteful to use it. I suppose the adept could use it themselves because they are both low and can use the healing. Okay, please roll the shieldy shield again. Uh, it's my cleric who does that, isn't it? So I definitely want to re-roll the cleric. Um, don't really like any of these. Druid, I'm going to be okay with. I mean, I like the growy sword. Let's so re-roll everything. Those are bad dice. So that's great. He can just kill the rat straight up. Uh, is there any chance we can just... I mean, with that, we can also kill the snake. Um, and if we got... Maybe it's worth just taking the poison this turn. This guy can't ever get a, like a decent attack dice, so let's just try these two again. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. I've got seven damage. That's not quite enough, is it, to deal with the rat and the snake. But let's definitely deal with the snake. Because that prevents some poison damage. Uh, the thief might as well stab the rat. I don't see any other particular thing to help with. Adept will just regen themselves. Okay. That's all we need. Just stab a rat and we're out. Alright, let's see what we get. Spellblade. That's a new one on me too. There must be loads of these classes. One damage and one mana. That's cool. One poison. Always good. One damage and engage. That's not great. That's, you know, most of the time that's going to be one damage. Every now and then, you get to do two damage with it. So those aren't great. What spell does it give us? Imbue. Target ally gains plus one to all damage size this turn. Single cast, so you can only use it once per fight. But it only costs one mana, is that right? That's pretty good. Because what you want to combine that with is stuff like their own things, like the poison. If you increase the, the damage on the poison dagger, it will do two poison. Like, poison doesn't have a value assigned to it, it just takes the damage. It's poison damage, like, it's all one thing. So if you increase the damage, you increase the poison. And something like engage, obviously you increase the damage. The, when it gets doubled, that counts for double. Uh, and what is glacier? 
I also haven't seen this one before. Three mana and pain. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, three damage and self heal. Three single use. Single use is especially bad on dice because it turns that face blank. So if you roll that in future, you can just completely wash out. Chill spell. Two damage and weaken at single cast. That seems weirdly nerfed to me. Like it's expensive, only hits one target. Okay, it impairs their dice a bit, but then it's single cast as well. It seems really harsh. I'm definitely going to do Spellblade. Let me just check the items that I didn't. This one affects empty sides. This one gives a regen. Is that all of our items? Yeah, it is. Okay. There's nothing to consider there. This is so many rats. I have no... Well, I, I guess I do have multi-target. And I think that's what I'm going to have to go for is... So maybe I don't take that. Because if I just take this... Yeah, there's nothing really to think about there. Um, that attack will get me the mana that I need to do the hit everyone spell. And I like that. Is there any way I can end up with six mana? There totally is. If these two roll right, I could end up with six mana and do this twice. I still wouldn't kill anything. God. <laughs> Alright. Given that, let's focus on things that do two damage. And try and get some of them. Yeah. Well, two people are going to die. So we should think about that. And take a shield. Okay, that's good. Uh, so... First things first, let's do this, and hmm, you know what, it doesn't matter what order we do the mana in, so let's do it that way around, and I'll hit everyone. Now, look at who's going to die, the yellow and the blue. So there are two each of those targeting this. Um, I guess the spell blade doesn't really help us, um, but I will. let's have the warrior save themselves, <laughs> and then let's have... Uh, this person doesn't really matter what they attack. In fact, they shouldn't attack a blue one because I plan to hit a blue one with a spell. I wish I had one more mana, it would be so nice. Um, to save the Adept. Only just saves the Adept. And then I guess uh, we will shield the Adept. Cleric's going to be low themselves, but the Adept would have been even lower. So that's the best we can do. That's a nasty first turn. It definitely has the arc. Any kind of multi-target fight in games like these uh, has the arc of being hardest on turn one and progressively easier as the fight goes on. Uh, the growing shield's quite nice. Shield and heal, definitely. It's time for that. I think I'll reroll everything else. Damn it. Give me some good advice. Seriously. <laughs> Was that the same all three times? That is the only problem with dice is, um, I think the thing that strikes me about this game that, that impresses me is that I haven't got on all that well with dice games in general. Uh, it's been rare for them to really click with me. Uh, and I tend to like a lot of card-based roguelikes. And the nice thing about cards is there is a limiter on how bad your luck can be. Like, if you have a good card in your deck and you have 10 cards in your deck, after you've drawn 10 cards, that good card will have come up no matter what. <laughs> There's no way to stop it. Um, Whereas with dice, you can just roll a 1 forever. There isn't anything saying that you can't just roll a 1 every single time you roll the dice forever, no matter how long you play the game. Play the game for 100 hours, you could roll the worst outcome every single time. Um, and if it was me, I know this is sacrilege, but if I was making this game, I would just make it, each time you roll a dice that the player rejects, uh, it gets a little bit less likely to roll again. Because I think those extreme bad luck cases, just there's no fun in that. Um, I would probably even just make it transparent to the player, just tell you, like, you know, this is your ability is like not only can you reroll a dice, but when you reroll it, you've made the side you just rolled less likely this turn. Like waiting, you know, you could give it a fictional grounding like that. Like you're when you reroll the dice, you're also changing its weight. All right, what am I doing? Um, I should remind myself of yeah, but when is this useful? I really need someone to actually have an attack. This is a really bad set of stuff, isn't it? Let's heal him. Let's have Druid just defend himself. He's going to take the most damage. Um, then we're going to have two mana total. So I guess I can kill a rat. Let's 
So a rat that's attacking either red or blue would be a good target to kill. Um, and let's do the red one. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I can also defend. Alright, that didn't work out badly at all, actually. Uh, two mana? Yeah. I think we're in the point where we're just going to be killing some stuff now. So, the mana lets us kill. In fact, yeah, this is enough. I don't need to do anything else. Um, I will just... Oh, yeah. Kill that. Kill that. Cast first. Kill that. Alright. Enchanted shield. That sounds good. Start of each turn, self-shield one. Hmm. That's not bad. Ironheart, plus one max HP whenever you save an ally. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Pure question marks on the random item this time. Yeah, I think I think it probably does vary the quality of that. I think there's probably a debuff or a buff on it. So, who's going to be saving people? Probably the druid? Huh. Actually, it's less clear-cut than I thought. Well, the defender? Yeah. Often the, the cleric will be saving people. And they would gain one max HP. I mean, actually, it makes more sense to put it on the Adept, doesn't it? No. They don't have enough healing stuff for that to make sense. The fact that my warrior only has 5 health is pretty crazy. I hope we get to upgrade him soon. So this is just free defense every turn. How often do you save an ally? How often does one particular character save an ally? It doesn't specify whether max HP carries over. I can say this by it would, that max HP is a persistent thing. I feel like it doesn't here, because it would be that would be too powerful, wouldn't it? You'd want to stay in the fight forever and get your people into trouble. Plus, yeah, the the cleric can increase max HP during a fight, I'm pretty sure that doesn't stick. I think this one is just more interesting, so I'm gonna take it. It may well be the other one's better, because the things that just always trigger are tend to be pretty powerful. Um, but I think we give this to the Cleric. The Druid, yeah, has two ways of saving people. Cleric has three. So it's that simple, I reckon. Um, all right, on to the Slimers. I do like that the dice is physically simulated. Sometimes they get stuck and they have to like jiggle them a bit to, <laughs> to unstick it. Um, Alright, I'll keep that. He's going to save somebody and he's going to gain max HP. That's going to be great. Uh, the two mana... In every case, I think I want to keep those. I mean, actually I'd prefer to have the sword on him. But I don't want the heal this turn. Yeah, maybe I'll reroll that because there's a way for it to be better. There's not many ways for it to be worse. And there's a lot of ways for it to be the same. The Spellblade, you know, it turns this, the two mana that can do two damage into a thing that could do three damage, but, uh, no, it can't do three damage. It can do one damage each to these people, which doesn't help because there's only two of them. So, um, I don't think that's really that useful. All right, the Growing Blade is exactly what I wanted. These two, again, I think they're suboptimal. Ah, I got something worse. <laughs> Flat out worse. Uh, Alright, let's do this. And yeah, they gain to max HP. Um, then a Slimers, when we hit these like little arrow pips, uh, they are going to summon a Slimelet, which is no fun. But, I mean, we could... Should we game that and just do one damage, like one hit to each? Then we're not spawning any this turn, and next turn we'd like focus on one, maybe. Um, uh, interesting, I could have buffed somebody so they do more damage. I actually don't want to do that damage this turn, I don't think. Because they don't have, like next turn all I've got to do is just tap one of them, and it'll create a slime, and then I can focus the rest of my damage on that slime and take it out. And I think that would be a good way of handling it. So, what am I doing with my energy? 
I am going to shield with it. And I'll shield the Adept. And I can't really do anything else with that one mana, I'll just keep it for next turn, I think. Okay, they got quite a lot of damage incoming. So let's try this plan. Um, I like that, I might keep that. The three damage is very good. This, it would do two damage to the new enemy. Oh, it's just kind of a bad class, isn't it? Isn't the spell bad? Just kind of spell. <laughs> he called it the spell bad. <laughs> wow, not a subtle Freudian slip. Uh, it just doesn't have anything that does more than one damage. This can only do two damage if the thing has full health. Well, these guys don't, and typically things are not going to have full health. And even if they did, two damage is not a lot. Two damage is like that slot used to do two damage before that. Just always two damage. This is just straight up worse than what was in that slot. The, the attack and mana thing is alright. Poison thing's good, but it's still only one poison. It takes a long time for that to really hurt. I think they're a bad class. Do I want defense? Yeah, I do. Healing and defense would be better. But there's three different ways that dice can go bad, so I'm going to keep it. Don't like either of those. Well, I got them again. <laughs> Maybe I should stop saying that. That tends to cause the thing to go bad. But this is what I said I would do, is I could just tap one of them, and then it doesn't matter which, they were attacking the same people, I think. And then kill a slimelet immediately. So it never gets to attack. That's pretty cool. Uh, I can also get this mana and I can do two damage with that if I wanted. I can safely do two damage with this slimer. That's pretty cool. Uh, but I've got a lot of incoming damage. And the Druid and the Warrior are both going to be on one health after this. So I don't think I should... I think I'll have the Cleric save the Warrior. Uh, yeah. There's no way to make it a proper save, is there? And then I'll spend this on a burst that saves the Druid, just so no one's on one health. And then the, since this guy's going to be the most injured at the end of this, I'll give him the regen. Oh, and it heals. Cool. Okay, so no one's going to even be on two. I keep my team healthy. Alright. Definitely a heal and save for the cleric. That's going to boost their own max health as well. Uh, two damage. That's nice. Um, yeah, it's the best thing. I don't like that three people are going to die. I'll take that because I think that's... Yeah, we can't we can't save people by killing Slimers. In fact, we're getting into a little bit of a hairy territory, aren't we? Um, these two... You know, that one could stay. Because what else is it going to be? This is the bad class. And then we just reroll the Adept. Twice. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Cleric should save somebody. And probably should be... doesn't really matter, I'll just do the warrior. They're developing a friendship in my head. Um, now, druid... I think we just got to use magic to save them, right? And I think both of us should... Mm, clerics. Cleric's also low, but the cleric's going to gain... Huh. They gain max HP. Did they gain current HP as well? Yes, I think that's what saved them, right? I think they saved themselves. Let me just go back and do it again, because I just want to make sure I understand the mechanics. Yeah, they were going to die. They chose to save the warrior. That gave them extra max HP and current HP. Now they're not going to die. Uh, and then we get all the mana. Uh, there's no reason not to just do this attack. Hmm... Let me think. reconsider that, because if instead I hit this one, I guess I can just play it out because we, we can always undo, then there's a slime here, but I can, I'm going to have one spare mana at the end of this, and if I spend that one spare mana to give the warrior extra damage, the warrior can take the slime out in one hit. Um, and then we've still got four mana with which to protect the druid. Probably just protect the druid twice, because the cleric's going to heal themselves a little bit anyway don't like where the cleric is ending up, because if they do this to us again next turn, I am 
treading water here, and it's a losing race to mix a metaphor. Okay, that's more or less what I was afraid of. <laughs> you see, what I haven't done here at all is to focus one enemy down, which is generally considered a good idea. But I've got a four damage thing here, I've got a two damage thing there. This is going to save somebody. It may save himself as well, I think it will. Uh, those things can be re-rolled. It feels like a turn where I'm not going to spend the time to come up with a coherent plan, because uh, just a lot is happening. So, Cleric, he, save someone who really needs it, because, oh god. Spellblade was really in trouble, and now there are three health in the red, so that's nice. Um, I'm wondering if, the, if it's possible to like kill this guy in one hit. Yeah, four damage should kill him in one hit. Does that also... It does create the slime that. Okay, Slime it doesn't do anything this turn. So in fact, we just saved everybody. Uh, you know, to some extent. Shall we focus damage on this guy? And take him out? Before he can do anything? I quite like that. That's been my policy so far. Um, has it worked? <laughs> Debatable. Hey! Oh, that, that buff thing was a one use, was it? Huh. It was useful. It was actually having that one extra damage just on the turn, you really need it, was great. Um... So if we, yeah, the problem is, I, hmm, hmm, hmm. If I kill the slimelet, next turn we've got one guy to deal with. If I kill the slimer, which I can do, he will create another slimelet. Next turn we've got two things to deal with. So I think it's better to kill the slimelet. And then with this, I believe I will just, I could do the two damage now. Um, that might be good. Or I'd, I would defend the warrior is the other option. I think I'll defend the warrior. You know, why don't I do this? The all heal, all attack. There's one damage to him, which is not impressive, but it heals everybody for one. Everybody needs a health point. I'm going to do it. Yeah, with the regen too, we're in fairly good shape for fighting one enemy. I like this cleanse and heal. There's no cleansing to do, but we certainly need three health on several different people. The thing is, this person's now got a five damage sword, which is incredible. I wonder if there's some way to sort of lean into that game-wise. There are, later on, it's possible to get abilities that let, like, one person can refresh the other person's dice. Um, so you could potentially use the same thing in one turn twice. Uh... You know, maybe I will let that re-roll. Maybe I'll let everything re-roll. Just try and focus on damage if I can. That hasn't worked. The question is, do we trigger the slime of this turn? Because we could just stall. But not if... Not if we can't prevent all the damage. So... There's six damage incoming. Um, I can prevent... I can't actually prevent all three with one of these. I can't really do it with anyone. Um, how much damage can I deal? Three. Which is not great. Let me hit this guy for one. We could use this to heal everybody for one. And then... It's only the Adept is in a bad way. And I could use both of my... Yeah, let's do this. Heal everyone for one. Oh shit. Right, that's the problem with that. That might be okay. He's only on one health. I can just kill him trivially next time. Um, and then we definitely want to shield the Adept. We probably still want to shield the Adept because they're, they're still going to be the worse off at the end. Alright, so the slime is going to be easy to kill. Slime Lut, however, is going to be pretty nasty. Those are terrible dice. Give me new ones. That I like, and that I like, and in fact, that's all we need. It's just going to be... Bash. What the fuck is that? <laughs> ah. Alright, oh, they unlocked an item. There's an achievement that unlocked an item. Alright. 
Hmm. Anyway, uh, I was wondering if I could have saved somebody there, but... Give me a good warrior. Okay. That looks decent. Three different two damage sides. It's not brilliant. And what does that do? It's a shield. Bonus equal to this hero's current shields. I don't think that's good. I suppose... What are we saying? So, if someone else shields the knight, then when he then shields somebody else, he will do as much shields as that, plus one. It all sounds good until you get to the plus one, doesn't it? <laughs> That's kind of pathetic. If it did two plus whatever they, their current shields was, great. I suppose it's like if you had two different characters, both shield the warrior, then the warrior can sort of double up that shielding onto someone else, but that's quite a stretch. So I'm not overly impressed with that. It's quite boring, and the only sort of special mechanic is one that I think is pretty niche in terms of when it will trigger. Uh, Evoker just generates some mana and has a lot of bad sides, so that spell better be pretty fucking good. For three mana, you can do three damage and it's ranged. That is good. Um, doing three damage in one hit is very nice. It's just sort of, there's a lot of enemies that have three health. Um, it's quite clean. The three bum sides is, is pretty bad though. I suppose the way to look at this is like, this is a two damage side, this is a two damage side, this is a three damage side. Um, plus that mana can be used to like heal. Hmm. I was real keen to upgrade my warrior, but they are just, I mean, it is a big upgrade, isn't it? Because it's like two of their sides do twice as much damage, two of the sides do twice as much shielding. Um, it's not quite the same because they actually end up using an extra side for shielding. I think I can go with Oka. Ooh, because... Uh, what about that item that they already had, in fact, that turns all of the blank sides into healing? Then it's less awful. Um, do we still want this? Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. That gets rid of a mana side. Hmm. Still, I think the most utility they're giving me is this three damage spell. Hmm. Maybe this is better. There's a lot of chances to get mana there, and we can spend mana in lots of good ways. So this one maybe should go on the warrior because their one shields just aren't that useful and the regen's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Haven't been offered great classes this game. I feel like the Spellblade the Druid's pretty good. Yeah, because the Druid's the one doing the healing as well. The Druid's actually been great. But yeah, I really want a a good warrior option. Okay, so there's three that's straight up just killing our slime nut. That's pretty cool. Um, Evoker should probably be saved at some point, so uh, yes to the shield. The rest of maybe this... Oh, to be honest, I'd really like to get that sword side, because after using it once I would get to kill slime nuts in one go. Uh, that looks nasty. Hey, damage! And it has to target the highest HP, which ironically is my Evoker. It's unusual for the Spellcaster to be the toughest one, but... Is the Evoker, like, a level 3 class? No. Hmm, weird. I don't know why they have so much health. Um, if I take this... And we can do just hitting lots of targets stuff, um, which is 4 damage total. Uh... That's kind of good, actually, because... Nah, I'm going to reroll it. Okay, I got that shield. I might take that. Poison's actually not bad. This crappy class that has very little going for it. Um, warrior, I'd like some more damage, please. That's great. That's great. Okay. So... Uh, all of that damage is coming just from the slime cream. We can't stop it, so it's going to have to be shields that do that work. Uh, I think I might... Sorry, nope, that's that's the wrong thing. I want all shields on the Evoker. 
Um, then I do indeed want the beam to kill a slime, and it should kill a slime that is attacking the warrior. And then we actually have enough to kill another slime. Maybe we should, because that saves us three damage. I was thinking of using poison on this guy, because it's going to take a long time to kill him anyway. But Oh wait, no, no, sorry. Because it's poison, it won't save us the damage this turn. Hey, what? what's going on there? What happened? Oh, that was already there, was it? Oh, sorry. I um, I thought it was showing me like the exist the one I just killed, but um, showing me them showing that they were dead with the X. But that just means it's a, it was a pre-existing slime that happens to be doing nothing this turn. Okay, so yeah, I can't actually take out the slime this turn, which I think means it is better just to poison this guy because over the course of the battle, it's going to be a lot of turns. A lot of damage. We're going to lose a lot of health. Um. Okay, what do I want to do? This saving could be good just because it will um, give the cleric some max HP. This one I will reroll. This one I probably won't re-roll. I think it's about as good as it gets. Everything else I will re-roll. Uh, well, my feelings on all these things are the same. And that's not as bad as it could have been. Let's do... So, who is targeting them? This Slimelet is, so we'll probably kill that Slimelet. Um, one way or another. This one's targeting the druid and it's not going to kill them so we're not too worried about that. I do want to save... I guess they're doing four damage each to uh, Spellblade and Evoker. So either way the cleric can get the credit for saving. I think they'll save Evoker and... Oh it's kind of cool actually because by stacking up health on one character when the Slime Queen does her heavy attack, she's going to have to attack the Cleric, and the Cleric is the one I can most easily get back up to good health. Uh, it's real tempting to use a sword on this Slimelet, isn't it, to take them out, but they're not the one I need to take out, really. If they leave the Druid in a bad way, it would be nice. I mean, yeah, I should do it, shouldn't I? Because, uh, oh, in fact, in fact, definitely do it, because... <laughs> Firstly I get the mana, then when I get the two mana from this, I now have three... Excuse me? That's not what I meant to do. Uh, I have three to kill this Slimelet. And that means I can use my... Two... Why is the Druid thing X'd out? Or is it a single use? Alright, that's good. We lose a bunch of health, but... Um, we've stabilised the fight. Next turn will be easier, I reckon. That's going to be three damage to three people. <laughs> That's not not that easy. Um, all right, what can we do? Uh, maybe it's time for that spell where we heal everyone by one. It would heal three people. It's not that great, is it? I do think that mana is is worth keeping. I'd like to keep rolling a druid until I get something that's got growth on it. Oh yeah, shield and healing would be great, so let's reroll that. Uh, that person has nothing good. To be honest, I'd love to get the potion here, but two damage is hard to argue with. Let's keep rolling. Growth is great. Health and shield is great. That doesn't do anything for me. That's alright though. So I'm thinking, I mean, Cleric should save the Spellblade because it's going to get the credit for it. Um, I'm really rooting for them to roll their heavy damage attack now because it's I can totally take it. This I want to use, uh, I think we just want to hit them because the next hit point is what's going to trigger the slime. Oh god, the slime -er. Oh my god, 
Does the slime? Oh my god! They spit into slime as the slime is spit into slime lutz. This is bad. This is bad. Is it even worth killing a slimer? Because twice it's going to spawn little things. I guess I ha eventually have to kill it, but God. Slime policy. Should you keep whittling down the same thing? Is there any chance... This is ambitious, but can we kill it this turn? <laughs> like, if I spent... Yeah, I could spend one to boost this guy's damage. Uh, so that's three. Another three from a spell, and another two from the sword. Yes, we can, but we'd spawn two slimers, slimes in the process. So, the other question is, can we both create a slime and kill the slime in the same turn? That would be great. Probably we can, but it'd be nice to be spending some stuff on health. I don't care about the cleric game here. I care about the warrior. Let me see if... I think I will do this. It doesn't super matter. Um, so I could beam it. Because the sword alone isn't going to do anything. And then it's just a case of hitting the slimer, I think. Um, and we'll just take a bunch of damage. That's my catchphrase. Somehow I'm always hanging on by the skin of my teeth. Look, I just want to give the cleric as many opportunities as he can to save people. <laughs> and he's getting them. That three damage is great. Um... The one damage in mana, I'm, I'm starting to not turn my nose up at that, especially because this guy just has fuck all. The poison is better, but the chances of rolling a poison are low. Um, that, I guess, to kill the Slimer. Is, is the Slimer doing some of this damage? Because, yeah, do, Slimer's doing a lot of damage, so killing that would be great. One fucking health. Awesome. Alright, but let's do what we said. <laughs> Kill the Slimer. We don't have to deal with Slimer at this turn. Um, but focusing damage on this guy doesn't really make sense because uh, it's just going to trigger another Slime. So let's just kill that off. Uh, Cleric is definitely going to save the Evoker and get some credit for it. Then Evoker might heal themselves. Or no, Druid probably needs healing. Because there's nothing we can do about this incoming damage. I can gain one mana, which I can't do anything with this turn. And... Yeah, Drew is just going to have to take that and be happy with it. This is a tough fight. I don't... I'm not sure we're going to win this. I wish you'd get your heavy damage one. How many sides do you have? Only one. Yeah, I can see why it's not coming up very often. Okay, Cleric, you're going to save somebody. Good news. Uh, I can't see what that is, but I think it's just one health. Yeah. A triple shield is very good. My Druid does scale. So that's nice. This would be great. I think we've got to take that. Uh, two mana. I'm not sniffing at that. And poison. That's actually really good. So, Cleric saves Warrior. Cleric is healed in the process. We're going to stab the Slime Queen. It's going to spawn a Slimer. I can't prevent that. Um, somebody should take three... Three shielding. And somebody else should take regen. It's tempting to give it to the cleric. Because the cleric just has a lot of overhead. Like that. We won't run out of health points. But neither the spell blade. The spell blade is closer to death. I think that probably makes more sense. Does it? Because if I do this. Spell blade has four health. Um, maybe it's even the druid who needs it. Because the cleric has a way of getting health already, so let's do it to the druid, because that's the lowest health person who doesn't have another way of getting health. And should I... Is there any difference between me triggering the, the slimer versus waiting for the poison to trigger it? I don't think there is. Oh, hang on. If I just do this, they die at the end of this turn. And then we've only got the slimer to deal with. And that's great. Um, okay. So they're attacking two people. And the evoker is going to die. 
Who's that? That's the druid. I'd love to get a different face on that. I kind of want a different face on everything, except maybe the Spellblade. That's what I wanted. This sure doesn't hurt. Maybe I keep this. I think I keep this. Getting down to the wire. I want to make sure I get something useful. And with the luck I just saw, I'm glad I did. Cleric has insane max health now. So it's gone on to like a weird stacked formation. Um, Spellblade's in trouble. I don't have defense, so I'm probably going to use this for defense. Um, yeah, I don't. Doing damage is not my priority right now. And this could end up looking pretty good, because the. Putting regen on the Spellblade, they seem to be taking a lot of damage, so I think we'll do it that way around. If I can just keep rolling that potion and Druid's growing faces, then we're scaling at that point. Stabbing us go. Poison is good. That's a good turn. We lost two health and we gained regen on one of our characters. That's a net benefit. And I like when I get the growing side. I might take this two because I think we'll want to do one damage to trigger it, then three damage to kill it. Four damage, in fact. And then what the hell, we'll take that to... Um, no one's in danger of dying. Oh, I don't like either of those rolls, though. Wow, I like that even less! Okay, but we're going to kill this thing, right? Aren't we? Yeah, we can just kill this thing. Why don't we just kill this thing? Because it's going to want two slimes, but they're not going to do anything this turn. Let's just kill it. It dies, actually, of its own accord. And we can even kill one of these slimers this turn. Oh, but, hang on, hang on. If I kill it this turn, then, before the poison, then we that saves us all the damage, so that's obviously the right thing to do. And then we can even heal someone, probably the warrior. And then we'll save that mana. Alright, that was the right thing to do for sure. We're going to win. Hard to see this going too far wrong at this point. Um, yeah, this this is all I need. This one kills that, and this one kills that. Beautiful. Wait, what is that? Let's open the chest first. Empty chalice. If you have zero mana at the end of the turn, plus one mana. Oh, yeah, I normally do. So that's pretty good. Hissing ring. Replace the middle side with two poison damage. Damn, that's great. Who has a bad middle side? This guy. <laughs> This guy for sure. The only reason not to do that is that if someone else has it, then potentially I can inflict three poison damage in the same turn. That's a fairly good middle side. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Different tone of voice. I mean, it's not. I mean, poison is much, much better than that. It's just a case of like this thing is useless. Yeah, I think we're t certainly taking the hissing ring. There's no doubt about that. And I think I'm going to give it to the Spellblade. So extra monsters in this fight. Reward is... Start poisoned. That's bad. Um, swap the left side with the right side. Oh, the dice. Ooh. Wait. Does that help? <laughs> Only if you're combining it with another item. And then plus one, plus one. After a spell is cast, one damage to yourself. Improve the right side. So these... Even... The rewards seem like they have downsides. Uh, so, no, I'm not going to accept that. So, let's do this ring on this character. Yeah, that's so much better, isn't it? That makes this a good class at that point. Whereas adding it to the evoker doesn't change it from a bad class to a good class. Alright, there's a lot of guys in the back. Oh god, they're snipers. Oh, this is going to be brutal. Jesus Christ, he's going to die by six? There are some abilities, in fact that cloak that I passed up um, has a face that would have let her just dodge all of the damage. Uh, I don't have that, and I don't have anything like it. God damn. All, so the key to this is going to be killing the bones, because as soon as the bones is dead, all of our attacks work on everyone. But until then, it's a little bit tricky. That's because the bones is the only guy in the first row, and when the first row is gone, the back row becomes the first row. Or it counts as it, for whatever purposes. Um, I guess that's the best that guy has. Uh, let's look into killing someone. Uh, I think it can't be the bones, because 
Oh wow, she's not even being attacked by the nasty one. She's just being attacked by every other one. Oh no, she has been attacked by a nasty one. Okay, so that top sniper would be great to get rid of, but how can we get rid of it? The only two things that can hit them are a bow. Oh, I threw away my bow. I don't have any bows. Okay. <laughs> hey, the, the beam. The beam can kill someone in one hit. So we desperately need mana. So actually, Druid, I think we're going to chuck that away. I think I'd rather have you give, get mana. Um, which means all of these are bad. Oh, that's just about the most mana that this guy can provide. So I'm actually going to keep it, even though poison would be much better in the long run. Um, and everyone else reroll. Please just give me mana. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's definite reroll. And it's something. All right. Let's just get all that juicy mana. I can do two beams. That's really good. That's really good. This beam thing is actually fucking great. Well done, Evoker. You have paid for yourself many a time over. So, now Cleric can save Spellblade and should, because they get... If they save themselves, they do. They get credit for that, too. <laughs> Whenever you save an ally, you count as your own ally. Um, is that what I want to do? Uh... No, because the fact that they help themselves is good anyway. Alright, there's still two really nasty attacks incoming. Um, but one of them is just from... I oh don't know. No, it's from two things. I just it sort of instinctively feel I should kill this one because um, it's doing more damage now. I th don't think it has any higher chance of doing this high damage. Oh, I see. They have to target the lowest health enemy with that. Um, none of that really affects who I kill, I don't think. I could have done the attack all thing twice, but it wouldn't have helped because I've got nothing else that can hit the back row. So uh, Beam is definitely the right call. So it's just a question of, do you take out this one? Yeah, you do. Yeah. And I wish I had something else I could do, but I'm just going to hit the bones. <laughs> We're still going to be in rough shape, but we've dramatically thinned out the herd. Alright, they got the real high damage ones, did they? But they all have to focus on the same person, so even if we lose them, it's not the end of the world. I'm also going to uh, keep that one, and I'm probably going to end up just killing the bones. Mm, we'll see. I would like mana. In fact, same thing's true, isn't it? This is the only way for this guy to get mana, so let's do it. Oh, this is a lot less mana than I was hoping for. Oh my god. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Can we save them? We only need to kill one sniper. But how the hell do we do it? We've got no mana. We just can't. We just have nothing that can the back row at all. So, the next question is, can you can you get four damage off them? The cleric can do something. Uh, that does not save them. But, if we did the evoker thing first, then did that? That does save them, and the cleric gets credit for it. Alright, so everyone stays alive. Um, I think we can only really kill the bones, then probably spend the mana on boosting the warrior. In fact, they can kill the sniper. Oh, I forgot! When you kill a bones, it damages the enemies either side of them. So I actually can take out one of the snipers. And probably I want to take out the one who's attacking orange. Beautiful. This is going to be no hassle at all. Um, what have we got? What do we want? Let's keep that. I don't think we want to keep anything else. I want damage. That's all I care about. There it is. Guild Sniper. Okay. Please give me a good warrior class. Alright, it's two choices for the warrior. This can't go wrong, surely. For some reason, one of them specializes in this engage thing, which I just don't think is any good at all. Like, it, if the base damage was good, plus it has engage, great. But this thing just does three damage. This thing, this middle tile, is just straight up better than that one. And this middle tile is better than that one in all circumstances except when it's attacking a full health enemy. So this is just better. This is the boring one I passed up, isn't it? No, it's even more boring than the one I passed up. I think it's better than the one I passed up. The one I passed up had that weird shield thing that just seemed like a very mild benefit. I will say the one upside of this guy is that he has these things that do both damage and protect, which is nice. 
But to be honest, just a real good damage class seems good to me. We'll find a way to make him interesting by adding stuff. He's got more HP as well. And having to spend all my time saving my soldier's life is not that much fun. So this used to be adding a potion to his side. That was back when he didn't have good shields, and now he does have good shields. I'm inclined to put this on the spell blade. Am I? I think I still want it. The one mana, one mana, you never want that side, do you? You always want to get at least a mana sword. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. What does that do, by the way? Oh, right, that's, that's what's giving me the center tile, yeah. Alright, that's all. We're doing fine, we haven't lost anyone yet. Last game I played, I'd lost people by this point. But I don't think I'd ever had a fight as hairy as that one with the slimes, where it really looked like we were just going to be overwhelmed. I might keep that. What's happening to us? We're going to get poisoned, so I really, really want Druid's cleanse thing. Druid and Cleric both have a cleanse thing, so let's not settle for anything less. Spellblade, I'd rather them have poison as well. As well as the enemy, I mean. Did I say Druid has a cleanse? Oh yeah, it's a cleansing heal, I see. So that isn't it. Uh, that's alright from the soldier. I'm like, actually it's kind of the worst <laughs> thing you can roll. Um, so I might as well re-roll it, there's no chance of it going terrible. And the shield is not bad, I just would really like to stop the poison if I can. Actually, no, I, mm, yeah, yeah, definitely. There's any way. Oh, that really backfired. Good for the soldier though. Alright, so who's going to be worst off? Spellblade, so completely protect them. That's just beautiful, isn't it? it just protects all that damage, well, almost all the damage, and all of the poison. Three poisons is going to be taken. And three poison is going to be taken by the soldier, and it's going to be bad. I can always cleanse it later, of course, but it's, you know, your opportunities to do that are fairly limited. What's going on here? Why is this five now? It still says three there. Do we have some kind of status effect? Mana drain. Spells cost plus one mana. Oh, and they're both doing it to us. Oh god. Oh god. That makes my mana useless. Like, I can't do anything with that. That's pretty bad. Let's try and kill one of these as fast as possible. Alright, next time we can kill that one. That's a horrible icon, what is that? That's their poison attack. Um, I suppose we take the mana, because this guy doesn't really do anything but mana. Uh, everything else is bad. And I can't really... Hmm. Who's this, this one doing the poison, unfortunately? This one's just doing regular damage, is it? Yeah, three damage to everyone. Um, yeah, I don't think I can stop the poison. We'll cross our fingers for a druid thing, but no, we didn't get it. So, what are we doing? Might be interesting to do the this wishy-washy thing because it would finish off this ghost, which prevents a bunch of damage, and heal us. I think that's a good idea. Because there's not that much else we can do with mana. We can buff someone's attack. Um, oh, you know what? That I actually, since I'm going to use this on the soldier anyway, I'll do it now, because that counts as the cleric saving them. Whereas, after I've done this spell, it wouldn't. Uh, and now... <coughs> We sure want to do that. Oh, they'll die this turn. Great. That's it, isn't it? You know what? Let's um, let's even buff this and make it official. That's a great outcome. Okay. After a spell is cast, self heal one. Hmm. That's good. Metal spell book. Learn a new spell. Iron skin. 
4 mana, shield 7. Pretty good. Um, I guess it tends to be poison and stuff that I really want to prevent. The fact that this is just free seems really good. I think we should take that and let's think about who... So not Cleric, because they already have a way of healing themselves. Um, for the rest of them, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Just in the sense that... Like, it's not them casting a spell, right? It doesn't matter if they provided the mana or not. The spells are universal to our whole team. So whenever a spell is cast, they would heal. So it's about who needs the health. There's an argument for like a big health bar regen makes has more chance of being useful, but I also think the bigger factor is that a small health bar is they're going to spend a lot of time close to death, and um, that's when you when healing is really important. So I think I'm going to go for druid. Yeah, it's still really weird that you're just immediately into the next fight. Ah, it's a bunch of snipers, so we need mana don't we? And uh, that shield's like alright. Oh, it's about as good as it gets actually for that guy. Okay. I'll need something else though to save the druid. It's just a lot of fucking incoming stuff. Do I want this one? Nah. To be honest, a shield would be better this turn. Oh, that regen would have been nice, actually, <laughs> now that I think about it. Um, I would like the mana sword. Uh, hmm, fuck. Alright, I will keep that shield. If I reroll this, what am I hoping for? I would like the shield. Yeah, it's just a shield, really. Or the mana. I need, I need one more mana, for sure. I've got to get it somehow. I think I reroll both. Just in the hope that someone gets me nice some mana. Oh, damn it. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. That is 100% useless. Oh, shit. This is a fucking dismal first turn. Um, shall we say... Soldier protects them first, so that Cleric can then get the credit for protecting them. Still only leaves them on two. Druid has a way of getting life. Cleric has a way of getting life. Spellblade doesn't, so she could regen herself. And I think we probably also want to use that on shielding. Oh, it's a terrible first turn. It's a terrible first turn. I'm not going to kill a single thing. I'm not even going to deal a hit. I just got absolutely screwed on those last two dice rolls. Like, the only unwise thing I did in re-rolling was risking not getting this potion. Like, I had that potion, and I re-rolled anyway. And I got that again. So the only risk I took didn't, uh, you know, come to pass. Is that what you say about a risk? <laughs> it didn't go bad. Uh, but I also did not get a single fucking thing I wanted. So who am I saving? Spellblade or Druid? It's going to be Spellblade. Damn, this is terrible. You literally can't even use that spell. Oof. I don't think we're all going to come through this one. Please let me kill a sniper this turn. Alright, I'm going to save the mana I get, but I do need you to at some point provide some more mana. I can't do it all. He can potentially get one mana, but it's not worth sacrificing the ability to save somebody. Here we go, here we go. And Soldier doesn't have anything else that's good, really. Um, this person could get mana and could get uh, poison, both of which I like. But regen's also good. You know what, I'll stick with regen because we need to just get off the ground here. We need to start scaling. I'd rather have a shield. Attacking the zombie is just not going to do anything for a long time. Dies if it takes four or more damage in a single attack, really? Oh, okay. Shit. Shit. Uh, then I do want this sword. Because I can buff that to four. That's incredible, I didn't know that. Uh, yes, I am done rolling. And... Is the soldier going to survive? I think we need to... Let's 
let's do some beams and think about like saving a soldier. Okay, soldier still in a bad way there. I can save them. Uh, who am I going to kill? I'm going to kill. Oh yeah, I, I shouldn't save them with the shield because when we kill the zombie, that will save them anyway. And I'm going to kill the zombie by casting this on the soldier, who then does four damage. And that just insta kills a zombie. I did not know you could do that. That's awesome. So then, cleric save spellblade. Spellblade could give some potion to the soldier, perhaps. Um, could also be the evoker. I think the soldier. Yeah. Soldier has suddenly become great because now that these guys are not ranged anymore, um, they're not back row anymore, all of his swords will be very useful. Um, yeah, I'll take two of those. Uh, I think we're just focusing on killing now. I think we can finish this. Yep. Um, this person can't focus on killing. They might as well keep that. And this, let's see. We're gonna do. Oh yeah, we just we've got it already, haven't we? Because uh, if we just do this with a beam, that's one of them, and then sword on the other. One. Phew. Okay, soldiers are working out all right. It's not an interesting class. Ooh, what is this? Valkyrie. Target ally gains undying. Uh, so that means that they can't be reduced below one HP. Um. Shield 3, duplicate. Copy this side onto all allied dice this turn. Yeah, I don't understand this. Uh, I've seen this duplicate word before, but what does it mean? Like, so everyone's dice does that instead of what they currently do? What happens if you've already spent the dice? Is it then just a spent version of this thing? Because basically it's not that common that you want everyone to do the same thing. But I suppose if... I suppose it's like as many of your team as you like will do this, because the ones you don't want to do this, the ones you do want to use their own side, uh, should just act first. Then, I mean, I assume that duplicate means when you play it, it copies this onto all allied dice this turn. Uh, sword, what is this? Shield to revenge. Damages all enemies attacking the target. That's kind of nice. What on earth is this? Forsaken. Revive the topmost defeated ally. Okay, so that's a full on necromancer. <laughs> is she bleeding from the eyes? Uh, all other heroes gain plus two max HP, and I take two damage. Now that is just about worth it for pain. If someone else has got a way of giving me max HP, in fact, I would put the, the thing on her which heals her when a spell happens. Heal 2 to all allies, so that would heal itself as well. That's nice. Um, 2 damage and 2 self heal. Yeah, self heal is pretty good. Target ally becomes immune to damage this turn and loses 4 X HP. That's weird. I mean, that trade off is. It's a question mark whether that's worth it if it was free. It costs 3 mana? I don't really like that. What am I getting for my druid at the moment, spell wise? Oh, that's the hit everyone thing. That was useful in the past. Um, you know, this guy, you lose the cleric. Mm, cleric ain't all that. The main thing he's got going for him is, is that save mechanic, which I really enjoy, by the way. I'm really glad I picked that. Um, I like these revenge shields. That's pretty cool, because that could do things like hit an archer. An archer would hurt themselves, isn't it? I think I'm going to take the Valkyrie. I think that's interesting. Resurrecting your allies is kind of cool. Yeah, this class is cool too. It's just the spell I don't like. And the one we lose is pretty good, and the one we gain is not. So, that's remove the inventory item. Uh, I still want that on that same class. They're going to be saving. Yeah, they've still got three shields. And actually, this is also a thing that will save. I don't plan to use that if I can help it, because it doesn't. I suppose when someone's going to take like 8 damage or something, you know, below 0, that could be worth it. 
Uh, okay, let's do this boss fight, and then I'll, I'll probably stop this video after that, because an actual full run is pretty long. There's a free demo of this game, and it goes up to level 12, which is very generous, I think. <laughs> oh, I don't like the look of that. One damage, poison, cleave. Okay. So what is the plague thing? Okay, the plague thing is a property of this enemy, and we all lose max HP all the time. So we've got to finish this fast. I still think that killing bones is a good idea because they hurt adjacent things when they die. So this one, the three... Let's take it and see how it works. Might be a costly mistake, but... Um, uh, this is a turn where I might want to do the hit everyone thing. I'm not sure. Uh, a sword that does three damage is pretty good. There's not much more he can be doing. This, I, I would like some poison from this guy if I can get it. And healing is useless, so let's reroll that. Healing is useless, so let's reroll that. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> You're really not listening to me, are you? Or you are. Um, so, now we find out how the shield mechanic works. I mean, it hasn't done the thing I feared, which is maybe you know, as soon as you roll it, it replaces everyone's faces with what with itself. Um, I suppose I can undo, right? So if I just shield now, yeah, so when you cast it, it then copies itself to every other dice. So that means at least that druid dice can be saved. Um, I'm inclined... Oh, this can go well, actually. This can go well. Because I think I will do this multi-damage thing. Because that's five damage, you know, that's worth three mana. Um, and then Soldier can kill somebody. Let's think a little bit about who's getting attacked. These two are both attacking Valkyrie. Um, for Valkyrie to save herself, she can do it and she'll get max HP for it, but it would copy her shield sooner than I want that to happen. So I'm more interested in this. Um, I do want to use my poison on the main guy. And then it's just a case of shields, and I suppose I would... Oh, the, the health is not useless, because the health prevents the poison. And in a lot of ways, I'd rather... For the druid, I'd rather take... I'd rather prevent the poison than prevent the damage. But actually, that's not really what's at issue, is it? It probably makes more sense to save these two. I hope that's not permanent. <laughs> I <laughs> hope that doesn't last for the rest of the fight. Oh boy. No, it's not permanent. We're all good. Yeah, I don't really like this face, if I can help it. Um, that is good, but I would still like the poison, please, if I can just keep getting poison on this guy. Because this fight can't last too long. Um, it's going to go bad. So what's that? I don't really like any of these. Can I reroll everything? They're not the worst, but... Okay, defense and and reflection is good, because that could kill this guy. So they could save Valkyrie and kill the one who's attacking him, which is great. Uh, that can kill a Bones in one hit, so I like it. That's a, almost as good as that gets. I think I might stick with it. Still would like poison if I can get it. You know, if I can't get poison, I do want that. That's my next best choice. Actually, you know, at this point, I would settle for mana as well. Okay, I got poison. Alright, so... Shielding... Grey guy? Was that it? No. Shielding yourself. Oh, wow, it just happens right away. That's nice. That's actually really nice. That's another, That really fits with what I was saying about this game's philosophy. It just seems like it wants to get out of your way. Like, remembering that that guy's going to die would be an extra tax on your brain. And so the game just gets it out of the way. It's like, he's going to die, so we'll just kill him now. I mean, actually, no. What just happened is different to that, isn't it? Show me the description again. Damages all enemies attacking the target. It's not revenge. <laughs> it's preemptive revenge, right? Because I didn't take the damage. I gave myself two block and dealt two damage to my attacker. 
The two blocks stayed there. I did not take the hit. The revenge damage happens before the attack, which is not what revenge means. <laughs> Uh, still, not complaining, because that was great. Uh, let me hit this guy, and what we'll find is that that also means we can kill the bones with one shot here. And I'm certainly sinking the poison to the rotten there, and it's looking real good. And now the only question is what we spend the mana on, and I think it should be protecting the soldier. Probably. I mean, doing this ends the fight a lot sooner. Well, a lot sooner. No, the po it's dwarfed by the poison damage, so let's stop the damage. This is going to be, as long as we do two damage to it this turn, then there's only one more turn to go. But that's a lot of poison. I would sure love something that cleansed. Don't really love any of this. Like at this point, poison's not not much better than just a regular stab. I'm going to reroll all of that. There's nothing I especially want to keep. Regen is nice because it can counteract a poison. Excuse me. What I want to know, this one is two poison. I mean, you can see it on the health bar, I guess. I think that's good. Um, yeah, saving... Some stuff like that could be good. Shield is not good. We're not taking any raw damage. Alright. That looks like enough to kill him at the end of this turn. And I wonder... This is targetable, right? So, who is he targeting? He's targeting me. Um, so, he's also targeting a soldier. So that's two damage. And this can be made into two damage. So we don't even take that. Not that it would have mattered, because you get healed at the end. If you do lose a character, um, they uh, still come back in the next fight, but they have half health, I think. Half of their max health. And that works pretty well, actually. Like, I don't like in XCOM the fact that when you lose a person, they're gone forever, because when you lose your best guy, you know, you were already struggling enough that you couldn't do it with your best guy. Now you don't have your best guy, and the who replaces them is usually grossly underleveled and it just becomes a death spiral. Here, you know, your best guy, if you lose them, the next fight, your best guy is still there, so you don't got to use their abilities. They're hurt at the start of the fight, so it's a significant consequence. You have to spend some time healing them. Um, but it, it works in the way that punishment should work. Like, I'm sort of mixed on whether punishment is even, like, long-term consequences are even a good idea because uh, they definitely feed into snowballing. But if there is an upside, it is that after a mistake, you are forced to like wake up, pay attention, really think about your next move, raises the stakes. This absolutely does that um, uh, without feeling like it snowballs into failure like that. I lost I lost people maybe five times in my last campaign <laughs> and recovered every time. And like I said, got to a, like a photo finish. So it's kind of perfect. But yeah, I really enjoy this and I'll probably do another video finishing this run.